bullshit, by the way, guys. This is how it is. It's like it's almost more beneficial to not take stuff that you'd want to use. So say you're like you're a warrior and you're going to be using your heavy armor and your blunt weapons and you're repairing your armor. Don't take those skills because you're going to fuck yourself up. It's like what? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, one intelligence based. Well, there's like alchemy, but alchemy is easy to raise on side, so there's no point really taking alchemy. Conjuration's meant to be pretty easy as well, because you can just stand there fucking casting shit over and over again, can't you? Destruction's a willpower based one. Illusion. Spells to charm, conceal. Hmm. Marksman. Well, that's an easy one to fucking start with 25 in it, but it's like, say, it's like you're not going to be using it. It's. Just, uh, this is just fucking weird, guys. It really is fucking weird to me. So what stats are we even looking for at the moment? One in agility. And that encapsulates sneak, security, and light armor? Um, no, agility should be maximum security and sneak, I think. Is there three or four to each one? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's two. Three. Four. Shit, I lost what I was doing there. Four. Five. Fucking six, roughly. I don't know, yeah, and there's about six stats in there, but which ones are the speed ones? Oh, the speed ones are acrobatics, athletics, and... I don't know. I don't know. It's fucking weird. It's alright when you... It's like, oh, well, what do you want to do to make your class? Oh, well, I'll make him like this, and I'll make him like this, and I'll make him like this. That's easy, but when it's kind of like, well, I need to think ahead on what I'm going to be levelling or what I'm not going to be levelling, it makes it an entirely different ball game. Here we go, here comes Claire. <laughs> so, light armor. Yeah. That's fair enough, isn't it? Um, it's like I was saying though, it's almost like I don't even want to take heavy armor and stuff like that. It's gonna, then again, I still want to level up though, don't I? So I need to take some stuff I'm going to use in. As long as I only pick one from each category, it's not so bad, but I may as well pick one from each category that I'm going to be using. Mm. It's a bastard though, because like, fucking I play RPGs revolving around trying to fucking min and max and shit like that as best I can. So this is just going to fucking wind the absolute shit out of me not knowing what I'm doing properly. It's like, it's like I was saying though, it's like, say there's three skills per category, you're best off only taking one, so therefore you can level two and get the maximum points each time. If you take any more than one, you're fucking yourself, if you take three, you are burned. I mean, you could take two and maybe get away with it, but the maximum you're probably going to get out of it is like four. Because you're going to get like four into a stat to count towards that stat for that level, can't you? You can't get any more than that. One, two, three, four. You see, I should be struggling to kind of like narrow my choices down to seven. Instead, I'm actually struggling to pick seven. Um, no restoration. Conjuration's a minor skill that, I mean, apparently conjuration's a pretty easy one to raise as well. Well, yeah. Well, you're not, you're not going to accidentally cast a conjuration spell, but also you can apparently just cast it over and over and over again and it's going to raise it alright. Um, I don't, you know, I honestly don't like this. It honestly winds the absolute fuck of me that it's telling you to create a class, yet at the same time, it's almost counterproductive to pick stuff to actually make, it's almost like you're not making a class. Because you're not. Exactly, you're making the exact opposite to what you're supposed to be making. It's absolute, I've got to say, that's shit. That is really fucking crap. 
You know, I I really do enjoy Oblivion. I've been enjoying playing it so far and stuff like that. But this class stuff has pissed me off, to be honest. As soon as I've figured out what the deal is with it, it's kind of like, well, every level, unless you just want to fucking go through it and not know what you're fucking doing, and end up having the game too hard to the point where you've got to drop down the difficulty, and it's like, why should you have to drop down the difficulty because the game makers have made such a retarded system? I don't see how this could possibly con- be conceived as an intelligent way to level or to make a class. It's like it's like I was saying before, where fucking the original Ogre the Gun has been punished for specialising in endurance and strength-based stuff. He's been punished for it by taking two things out of strength. He's been punished by taking three things out of endurance. He's burned. He can never get a proper level up based on what he's done there. And I'm, and if he goes through the game like that. Is just gonna get to the point where he's getting weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker, and then to the point where you go, I can't do it anymore, or whatever like that, and you've got to drop the difficulty down, or you start struggling. I think that's absolutely fucking terrible, is that? I'm not being funny, but how did this game get critically acclaimed when it's a system? I, don't, I, I tell you exactly how. Because people don't realise that system because it's so fucking hard to understand. So you fucking review it. And you've got no idea about how stupid that system is. It's not a happy bunny. I'm not fucking happy at all because one of the biggest, uh, like, appealing factors to me about an RPG is, like, the class. Or just developing the character. And in my opinion, this is, this is fucking over character development. It's, it sells itself as this, like, completely awesome, incredible, fucking super, like, sandbox, you know, make your own character and do what you want. But it isn't. The world's there. And the freedom's kind of there. But the class system is just fucked. I don't... I, I can't... I can't see it as anything else but fucked. I gotta say, I think I'm done with Oblivion, though. I think I'm done with Oblivion, because I'm not going to be able to play and enjoy it when that system is that broke. It's just retarded. It's proper counterproductive. What is the point of making a character and like you just it's it's not even the character that you make, it's just fucking stupid. It is just dumb. It really fucking is. Oh well you want to do fucking warrior based stuff? Well I'd suggest that you don't. I'd suggest that you take one of absolutely everything. Because otherwise you're fucked. It's... it's... what? So basically, there ain't multiple classes in this game. There's one class. If you want to play this game properly, there is one class that has one skill from each of the stat categories, and that is it. Choose your fucking class. Create custom class. My ass, Because they don't even exist. They only exist. To fucking make the game seem like they exist. To make reviewers and people that are playing it to think that you're playing a different class. It's like I was saying before, it's like, what's the difference between major skills and minor skills? Like, you know, like specialising and stuff like that. There ain't none. Major skills, re- like, level faster. Big fucking deal. So basically, you could be a mage, but you could have the same heavy armour fucking skill as a fucking warrior. Or you could be a warrior with the same, like, fucking intelligence as a mage. In regard to, like, the same fucking, like, ability to cast a spell as a mage. It doesn't make any difference on a character. You can basically take everything. And that's just fucking crap, in my opinion. Like, it's just shit. I'm sorry, but I don't like that at all. I thought it'd be alright, you know, like I say, oh yeah, I'll remake and stuff like that and it'll be alright. But. No. I am not, I'm, I'm not fucking keen on that, you know. I'm sure it's a fun game just to go through and it's like fucking Dead Space Syndrome. Where you just go through the game and enjoy the ride. And don't really think about it. But. No, I think, um. 
I think that's it for Oblivion for me. I might, I'll give Fallout 3 a, a fucking hope to God that Fallout 3 doesn't follow this stupid fucking system. Thank fuck, Claire just informs me that it does not. Thank fuck. I'm not being funny, but why do so many people fucking rave this game when it's when it's like no, but not when it's like that. I'm sorry, but the, I'm a real bastard for the the actual mechanics behind a game. It actually it plays a big part to me. And that and the mechanics behind that are just wank. Like I'm sorry. I mean, I, I mean, if you like the game and stuff like, that, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sure it's a fun. I mean, I was playing it and I were I were having fun and stuff like that. But the mechanics have just really left a sour taste in my mouth. I, I don't think I can. Not tonight, anyway. I mean, I might go back to it at some point and stuff like that. But for tonight, no, I don't think I can. Fuck it. It's it. The taste is too fucking sour, it really is. Because, it's like I was saying in set 1 and this set and stuff like that, I like to change class. I mean, people that have played any MMOs with me and stuff like that will know that I like to swap around classes, I like to play different classes. But to me now, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't matter what class I make, they're all going to be 100% identical. It just depends how you fucking play it. All the classes are exactly the same. There ain't no difference. There is none. They're all exactly the same. It just depends what your level. And the only thing that depends on what your level is time. There's nothing stopping you leveling the exact... Like, you can fucking level a warrior and then go, right, I'm going to go into mage time now and level all fucking mage type stuff. Why not? No, but that's the thing. If you level efficiently, like it tells you to do it, you get a hundred in every stat, and the maximum, and the cap is a hundred in every stat. Yeah, well, it's all right. That's shit as well, but still, it's just like I said. It's one of the biggest appealing factors to me with all this fucking class making, and you know, you can create a proper character stuff like that. But it just feels like that aspect of Oblivion has just been ripped out for me now. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of character creation at all. I mean, races, f fair play, they actually... Do you know, that's the biggest thing about character creation for me in this. That's where it seems like now, what race you are. Because it can define what kind of special ability you get to begin with, and it can define... You start in stats which can make a big fucking difference. Other than that, what else is there? Picking, like, making a class that makes no fucking difference. It just determines how fast you'll level doing what things. So obviously if you go rogue type skills and you start fucking firing fireballs and stuff around, you're going to level slower than actually using your rogue skills. But that's the only difference. How fast you level based on what you're doing. Pick a warrior and you try to play a fucking rogue and stuff like that in a rogue type fashion, you're gonna level slower than a warrior that plays as a warrior. But that's the only difference. Level speed. And how gimped you've made yourself depending on what you're doing. So basically it comes down to those two factors, how gimped you've made yourself. Or how not gimped you've made yourself. And level time. I just, just like, what? It's like, was this mechanic supposed to be fun? Or was it supposed to be inventive or fucking clever? Because it's just totally not to me. It just seems fucking stupid. Maybe there's something I'm not fucking getting about it, but I don't know. If, from what I've learnt tonight, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like that's like I've got its fucking number spot on. It's like I say, I'm sorry dude, I'm fucking Claire, because I know a lot of people fucking like Oblivion, and fucking Claire loves Oblivion and stuff like that, but... No, I'm sorry, I've just fucking torn oblivion a new fucking asshole there as far as I'm concerned. Like I say, each to their own and stuff like that, but that is one of the fucking shittest character creation systems I've ever come across in an RPG.
shit, even if you don't get a chance to make your own fucking character, just being given a fucking class and going, you can't do anything else with it other than what we 